Hey, hello everyone. How are you? I hope you're all doing well and uh, I think all my previous videos are very useful to you. And uh, so in the earlier video, in my first video, I think I spoke a little bit about the uh, DSLR camera and the mirrorless camera. Uh, this particular videos I'm creating for only for the beginners okay so I already in every video I'm telling the videos I'm making is for the beginners so I'm making everything very simple and uh, understandable for the beginner levels I'm going to talk about a little deep about what is the difference between the DSLR camera and the mirrorless camera uh, as a Nikon shooter I started with uh, uh, DSLR cameras and then I switched on to mirrorless uh, like a Fuji um, X-T2 and then the Fuji X100F and the Panasonic uh, GX9 these cameras I was uh, I started using and uh, so today as a beginner in the field of photography I want to tell you which one will be a better camera to start with I'm not recommending any this you go for a mirrorless or you go for a DSLR so I'm not recommending anything just I'm telling my opinion as a experienced uh, photographer I'm telling you okay which is the better camera for you to understand the photography method of photography in a better way that's what I want to tell you right in my earlier days I started with a digital DSLR okay I've seen some of the old my uh, uncle and other people they use the SLR cameras the SLR cameras are different from the DSLR cameras okay what is the SLR SLR means single lens reflex those days they used to have a film inside the camera and 36 snaps they can take they load the film and then they um, take the photos and those cameras are called SLR cameras those cameras were completely mechanical cameras and uh, with a little uh, electronic parts inside after the digital era maybe in the later stages they converted everything into digital they called as a DSLR cameras that means digital SLR cameras that's called DSLR cameras how the DSLR cameras are working that's very very important okay this is the best example of a DSLR camera and how this works when I started with the DSLR camera so it's very interesting when you see the DSLR camera okay I'll show one picture here that actually that shows how does the image the light goes into the camera and the camera records it okay the light passes through the lens and with the various mirrors it reflects and then it will it will come through the viewfinder and then when you click the shutter release button the mirror just opens and the sensor will capture the light and then it will go into the memory card so this is the way it works the main thing is the mirror inside the, with the so many reflections the mirror gives the image on the optical viewfinder in the DSLR cameras you will have only optical viewfinder whatever you see in the real time that will be the picture through the viewfinder that is called optical viewfinder as I told you in the beginning the sensor in the DSLR camera is not exposed to the light always whenever you press the shutter release button the mirror flips up and then it allows the light to pass through the lens okay, now you watch this video it will show you how that DSLR cameras are working and I'm showing how the mirror is flipping up just watch this video now the mirrorless cameras how does the mirrorless cameras are working the mirrorless cameras are not having any mirror inside any reflection inside so the sensor is directly receiving the light then the processed image will be shown on the viewfinder that means the electronic viewfinder or at the back of the screen all the mirrorless cameras will have a big screen at the back of the camera and the same thing you can see through the EVF. EVF means electronic viewfinder. 
So that will be a processed image. Then you can see how the exposure is, what will be the final picture because the image what you see through the EVF or the back of the camera is the final image. This is the main difference between the DSLR and the mirrorless camera. Okay, now what is the advantages and disadvantages of a mirrorless camera and DSLR cameras? First, the first main difference is the DSLR cameras are heavy. Okay, a little heavy and then it will be bulky in size. Whereas the mirrorless cameras are very small in size and also in lightweight. The second difference, you will have only a optical viewfinder in the DSLR cameras. Whereas in the mirrorless cameras, you will have an optical viewfinder and also the EVF called the electronic viewfinder. In the mirrorless cameras, you will have only EVF, that means electronic viewfinder. And in some cameras like a Fuji X100 series cameras are having both optical viewfinder and also electronic viewfinder. In DSLR cameras, you will have only a mechanical shutter. Whereas in the mirrorless cameras, you will have the electronic shutter and also mechanical shutter. Sometimes you can use both together. That is the option is given in the mirrorless cameras. Now, the quality of the image. My opinion, the quality in both the cameras, maybe a mirrorless or the DSLR, the quality is equally good, okay? I don't think any big difference in the image quality in both the DSLR and the mirrorless camera. And the next one is the battery life. Whereas in the DSLR cameras, the battery life is much, much, much better. You can use the one battery for a, even for one day for a casual shooting. Whereas in the mirrorless camera, invariably, the battery life is really poor because of always the viewfinder and also the LCD screen at the back of the camera will be on so continuously the camera has to use the battery so the battery life is really poor in the some of the cameras you should have at least uh, three or four batteries when you go for any event sometimes the professional photographers they'll use the grip for the camera so the grip will have the multi number of batteries inside and it will give you the longer battery life that's a different concept okay next one okay whereas in the dslr camera you will have the original company's lenses very okay sometimes the people are using uh, different company third party lenses also like a sigma tamron and tokina all these lenses are available but whereas in uh, mirrorless cameras you can use the mirrorless lenses and the dslr lenses also with the use of the adapter you can use on the mirrorless camera. That is one of the advantages in the mirrorless camera. The next one is the autofocusing. The autofocusing points are much, much faster in the mirrorless camera. And whereas in the DSLR camera, since it is a traditional method, okay, so it's not, it's not a big difference, but comparatively the DSLR camera autofocusing is little slower than the mirrorless camera. The mirrorless cameras autofocusing is much better. Okay guys, okay, see these are the main differences and uh, okay advantages just I have discussed with you. But I am not recommending uh, for the beginners, uh, you go for a DSLR or um, mirrorless and uh, depends on your choice. But my opinion, my opinion is the mirrorless cameras are little expensive side and whereas the DSLR cameras are little cheap, you can go and start with the DSLR cameras. As my, this is my opinion. Because, and the DSLR cameras you can start with and really my personal opinion is to learn the photography. And if you want to do the photography little serious and also you're taking the photography to the next level, better you start with the DSLR camera and that will give you the better experience of photo taking process. That's what very important. And uh, th this is my opinion. I'm not recommending anything, but the mirrorless camera is much, much 
advanced level of uh, camera system and it will have the lot of uh, faster autofocus and it will have the EVF and OVF options even in the quality wise now I'm telling the quality wise also the mirrorless cameras especially the Sony cameras are much much better images and also it will have the more uh, um, megapixels all these advantages are there in the mirrorless cameras DSLR cameras are not inferior to mirrorless the choice is yours guys okay I'm telling you the choice is yours if you have a little if you if you are ready to spend more money on the cameras just you can go for a mirrorless cameras now because the mirrorless cameras are much much advanced and also a lot of lens varieties and you'll have a lot of uh, better technology and you have a lot of advantages in the mirrorless camera whereas the traditional DSLR will give you the better experience okay still I'm using for all my professional work for uh, Nikon D810 I love that camera okay so invariably okay the DSLR and the mirrorless is your choice okay you can choose anything depends on your choice but my recommendation for the beginners because I'm making videos for the beginners my recommendation always is better start with the DSLR camera it may be anything learn the photography and then you try with the better or advanced level of cameras this is what i want to tell you guys today okay so i think this uh, uh, video is maybe very useful to you i'm not touching all the parts all the various uh, concept of uh, diesel or and uh, mirrorless camera but i've given enough information and detail about these both cameras and if you have any doubt in this okay please write in the comment and i'm always happy to answer all your questions okay more videos are coming and please to get all my videos please subscribe my channel like and share with your friends okay